The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Okay, folks. Uh, well, we're two hours to go. We've got a bifurcated market. We got the Dow Jones up, S and P uh, slightly lower, uh, Russell a little bit lower, Nasdaq quite a bit lower. Uh, the main thing is that the price of gold is firmly above two thousand dollars an ounce, and of course, with the Saudis coming out, reducing barrel, what one point one million barrels per day, uh, that's brought the price of crude oil up. $7 at one time. It's now setting comfortably above $80, uh, which is up uh, $6 on the day and uh, actually $5 on the day. Uh, but that could change uh, momentarily, folks. Uh, they're supposed to be our ally, but they certainly don't act like it sometimes. But that's politics, and I don't get into that. What we're doing here is we're watching bar charts to see where the prices go up and where the prices go down. What's interesting today is that the Dow Jones hit that 61% retracement within 10 points, and that's, uh, what, 50 bucks, uh, going back to December the 19th of 2021. And the E-mini S&P went up and made its ABCD structure at uh, 4,158, uh, pretty much spot on. With this doing, the Russell made a 382, and the haphazard poor little uh, what is a poor little rich girl NASDAQ is still uh, suffering badly. It's still down on the day, but these markets could, you know, react quickly and move to the upside and continue going higher for a very, very long time. But these are things that we try to figure out where we're going here with some of these things. We have a really strong grain market. Soybeans are very strong. Uh, wheat and corn, not so much. But the fact that the weather down in Argentina and Brazil is not doing very well and that's causing the soybeans to continue uh, to move higher. So those are just a few of the things that we're watching here. And uh, when we get back uh, from this uh, little uh, soiree of telling you what the markets are doing, we're going to cover some of the things that we're watching in other commodities and also the banking index, folks, because the banking index is the key to all this stuff that's going on, and they're just not rallying very much at all. And we've got other key stocks like Tesla and Apple that are in the news that are should be doing a lot better, but aren't. We're going to take a little break here, 877-927-6648, and we'll be right back. 